in television and nightlife, Diddy's arrest shattered the image of the mogul everyone thought they knew. As more details emerged, the questions piled up. How deep does this go? Who else could be involved? Then, a jaw-dropping rumor hit the internet. Steve Harvey, the beloved comedian and TV host, had reportedly fled the country the same... Even though that is not mentioned in any part of the Bible. Diddy's case has gotten a lot of controversies over the internet and his case has gotten worse and worse by the days. You know Diddy is charged with multiple cases like racketeering, sex abuse and others where a lot of uh, artists, a lot of industry men were coming out to speak about issues and some are silence of the issue they don't want to talk about the whole these situations but some are out doing their diligent work and some like 50 cent is always on this daily case and the reason why i'm doing this video is that a lot has happened in the industry and it is being reported that a lot of names that are there when it is being mentioned hollywood will crumble the music industry the hip-hop everything is going to go down the drain now we all know that Bernard Boy has taken a picture with DD when the time he gets his Grammy. So a lot of people are situation uh, classifying it that Bernard Boy has something to do with DD chopping his ass. That is the thing that is trending in mostly in Africa or all over the world. A lot of Bernard Boy fans are saying that he did something with DD. But it's not only uh, Bernard Boy that has taken picture with DD. The video also do same, but. He did not get a Grammy, so people are classifying all these things as Bernard Boy did something that is why he got a Grammy. But for the true note to be spoken, is that it's not true that Bernard Boy did that, it's just an allegation leveled against him. We all know how people behave when these kinds of things came out. Now, I'm going to be talking about the crucial part of the, this whole story, which is Shatawale. We all know Shatawale is uh, one of the dancehall artists in Ghana. So this guy has a good relationship with Bernard Boy, Dembat. Though now he he's does not have that good relationship with Bernard Boy. But still, this guy came out to say something on his Twitter page. X, he said that people are just doing this thing for social media sake. It's a nonsense on the social media because they all don't know who is Bernard Boy. When we are talking of Bernard Boy, they don't know the kind of kind of guy he is. They don't know the kind of the uh, caliber of man he is. Let's look at what he said. He said, all joke aside, I know who Bernard Boy is and he will never play that kind of play. You all don't know that G called Bernard. Stop this social media nonsense. I repeat again, all joke aside, I know who Bernard Boy is and he will never play that kind of play. You all don't know that G called Bernard. Stop this social media nonsense. So that is what Shatawale came to talk about, even though their relationship is not that much uh, good at the way it was at first. But you all can just clarify all these things. Not because somebody gets Grammy, then he has to do some shady thing to get Grammy. Grammy is a platform where uh, when you are invited, you have your song is being hated and you have a category for you. And when you deserve it, they are going to give it to you. And when you don't deserve it, you have to go home. But though people over the years have uh, criticized Grammy for doing their selections based on whatever they do their things, and they are actually pushing some people back without giving them the Grammy, whether they, whether or not they deserve it or not. And some people deserve it, but they are, they were not given. But that's not the case. When I get it, because of the kind of person he is, not because did he actually knock his axe. So I want you people to get that correct because there was no. Uh, such a uh, thing that have come out that indeed Bernard Boy has actually been involved in axe knocking. Yeah, you got it. So that is the whole story, and we all know that Didi has been charged with a lot of cases. A lot of cases have been filed against him, and his case is far away from sooner. So whatever you think, what do you think about this uh, Bernard Boy allegations that was leveled against him that Didi has chopped his axe and he's involved in this knocking ass issues? And his friend Shatawale came out to defend him. What do you think about the whole scenario? Do you think Shatawale had sound or Benaboy is involved in that uh, allegations? 
whatever you think just drop it in the comment section thank you for watching this channel